Guys, in breaking news this hour, a man and two teenagers have been charged over a car chase that spanned two states. The trio allegedly led police on a two-hour pursuit in a stolen car that started in Brisbane and ended in northern New South Wales. Footage streamed during the chase shows one of the alleged offenders riding on top of the vehicle, taunting police. The group were arrested and will face court later today. I'm joined by Ben Beaumont, whose teenage son was killed in a youth crime attack and for former Queensland Police Officer Terry Goldsworthy. Thanks for joining us, guys. Ben, straight to you. Another day, another incident. What do you think when you see something like this? The first thing I think is um, how have these children been failed by the system? Um, when, when there's no consequences, no responsibility for behaviour, there's a real problem here. How do you toughen the consequences? Is that what you want? Look, to be honest, uh, the Palaszczuk government has put these reforms in to make maximum sentencing uh, something which is going to happen, but when you have the law stating that um, keep children out of detention, detention as a last resort, that is just smoke and mirrors in my opinion because they can't change. If they're trying to keep them out of detention, why make a maximum when there's no minimum? Uh, Terry, I'll come to you. This looked very brazen, didn't it? Uh, as a former cop, what did you think when you first saw the video? Well, look, I mean, it does look a bit comical. You've got the cars travelling at 20, 30 kilometres an hour and there's 10 cars, a helicopter, etc. I mean, the problem is, though, I mean, this stemmed from a uh, allegedly another home invasion where uh, one person was allegedly armed with a machete. Uh, we had these uh, people live streaming it and, uh, you know, basically uh, gaining fame through their criminal acts. So it still is very problematic in terms of uh, the type of offences we're seeing, even if it is, you know, you know a slow motion chase. Uh, you've got all those resources tied up and it really is just a reflection of the crime issues we're facing in Queensland on a wider scale. Well, Terry, as Ben mentioned there, um, what needs to change? Well, look, what we've seen is uh, an increase in brake nanners to, uh, by 18%. We've seen an increase in stolen vehicles by 13%. And there's a really interesting piece of data that what we call serious repeat offenders have grown from being 10% of all youth offenders. They now represent 17% of all youth offenders. Um, and they're committing 50% of our crime up here, and that's the robberies, the unlawful uses, the brake and enters. And uh, uh, juvenile offenders are massively overrepresented in those crime categories. They are far more in terms of proportion than the adult offenders are. So we need to fix that up. We need just to tighten up the bail system for sure because we now know that 53% of young people released on bail re-offend. We know that 20% of people, young people on bail commit serious offences and we know that 7% of young people on bail re-offend in an offence that involves death or serious injury. Yeah, swift action needed. Thanks guys. Back with more on Sunrise in a moment.